I think every Democrat on this committee believes that health care is a right, that every Californian should have an ac access to health care, um, and that health care shouldn't just go to those who can pay or those who can pay a lot or those who don't get a certain type of illness. From my perspective, if that's the case, when we have a status quo system that allows for millions of denials, it seems to cut up against that idea that healthcare ought to be a right. Let me just close with the following. Uh, I've been a longtime supporter of the ACA, uh, and we all know that Donald Trump and his allies are trying to rip apart the ACA. But I also think the ACA has not been uh, what we have wanted it to be, and as, as you've just been discussing for the last few minutes around our underinsurance rates, as well as the fact that we still have millions who are uninsured. And, and so, this is in part why I have been a supporter of the vision of single payer. Um, and I wanted to be on this committee because I really wanted to sort of test that hypothesis. And, and I, I really want to thank the chairs for many hearings of in-depth discussion about a lot of these issues that impact uh, what we ought to do moving forward. But I will say fundamentally my perspective still remains the same. We need significant reform. Uh, and I think the vision of single payer still makes sense. That being said, clearly we have an awful lot of details that we st still need to delve into. Uh, details either within uh, uh, this bill that uh, is being considered or others uh, to think about what we do given the reality of Donald Trump over the next four years. Uh, how do we set up the roadmap? Uh, how do we think about cost control? How do we think about transitions? How do we think about revenues? A lot of questions. But for me, those the fact that those questions are out there is not a reason for us to to not engage intensely in this conversation to figure out right now. And, and to, because the urgency of now with the fact that we've got millions of Californians who are suffering because of lack of access to health care is as real today as it has always been. So I want to thank you for the presentation. I look forward to many other conversations on this. And as I've been saying to every stakeholder uh, involved in this conversation from every part of the health care sector, we need solutions and we need to act now. And so I'm asking folks, and I think we're all asking folks, give us your best ideas now. Um, we're obviously having that conversation today with uh, SB 562 and other proposals, but uh, we don't have time to wait. Thank you.